There's the lineup for the men's 100 meters. It's not a Diamond League event, this, but uh, it's a good one, though. Collier of Italy, Forsyth, Jamaica, Sidon Dury of Norway, Asafa Powell of Jamaica, Lemaitre of France, more about him in a moment, Manjok of France, Clark of Jamaica, Louis Francis, Great Britain, Pognon, France. Well, we're just getting the introductions. Uh, Forsyth, Mario Forsyth of Jamaica has just been introduced. There he is, the big fella. 10.16 this season, which is equates to his personal best. We missed uh, Collio, the Italian, right on the inside. Ah, there he is. They've gone back to catch him. Um, he's 30 now. 10.06 in 2009, only 10.34 this season. Another look at Forsyth. Didn't get through the heats in Oslo, incidentally. Side in Dury. Gambian and now Norwegian record holder at 100 and 200 metres, going pretty well, Olympic semi-finalist. How is the man greeted? Asafa Powell, history's most prolific sub-10 second 100 metre sprinter. Now then, Christophe Lemaitre of France. He forgot his spikes, they had to rush round to try and buy some new ones. He's not got quite the right size, but he's 10 0 3. He's only 19. Watch out for him in the European Championships. Marcel Njanjok of France. And Banjok, I should say. The Mediterranean champion last season. Their own Clark of Jamaica. 10.10 this season. Mark Lewis Francis, Great Britain. Didn't make uh, his way through the heats in Oslo. Hopes to do better in this final here. 10.21 is best this season. Well, we've seen Roland Pognon of France, prolific indoor sprinter, over 60 metres. But this young fella, so much written about him, so much spoken about him, and he's in a lane next to a Safa pal. There they are. Collio, Forsyth, Sidon Dury, Powell, Lemaitre, Mbanjok, Clark, Louis Francis, Pognon, the men's 100 metres. The young Frenchman, the last to go down. Such is the confidence of a maturity beyond those years, certainly. How will he fare here? He's got Powell next to him. How will he respond when the surge comes? Well, Asafa Powell got a terrific start, and on the other side, Lirian Clark got away well, but Asafa Powell's absolutely burying this field. Powell is away. He's brilliant away, and I think the young Frenchman could have got second, 9.82, with 0.6 metres per second, and that was a good run by the young Frenchman. I have to say, he's going to be a real problem for the British sprinters, certainly in the European Championships. They've dominated in the past, but here's another Frenchman, but Asafa Powell is a man who is proving to be the number one at the moment with Usain Bolt injured, Tyson Gay with a slight strain he's the top man at the moment, 9.82 Tyson Gay's meeting record still stands at 9.77 well that is the fastest time in the world this year 9.82 confirmed, still waiting for that second place to come up Lemaitre 10.09 in second place that is a terrific run, just ahead of Mbanjok. Very impressive, Paoli. You're right, Stuart. He had them buried at 50 metres. The youngster, I thought, looked rather shell-shocked through the first half, Lemaitre, but he kept his form, kept his head together. Look at him there in the white vest, middle of the picture. Really struggling to go with Powell and a couple of the others. I think it's Clark that goes away from him as well. But uh, as for Powell, at least now he's got rid of that habit of easing off when he's got a field beaten. Uh, a couple of years ago, it run 9.92 there because he had the field well beaten and he just seemed to struggle with concentration through the last 20. But there he works all the way through to the line and that's lovely. There was plenty more there. I do wonder what sort of damage he can do at 200 metres, Powell. I don't think we've seen him anywhere near his best at the, uh, the half-lap event.
but that's a huge winning margin. I'll tell you what impressed me about the young Frenchman as we look at Powell. He wasn't phased when uh, Powell started to go away. He didn't tie up. He started, he stayed and competed with the rest, and that's a good sign for him. He's a good prospect, but my goodness me, Asafa Powell, dominant at the moment. He's enjoying these moments in the absence of Usain Bolt. Although, obviously, he would want uh, Bolt back on the circuit, as we all would, to see what he can do. Do you know, we've become a bit, uh, I guess, blase about these times, Stuart, but if I tell you that only uh, three other men in history have gone quicker than that, you'll understand how special that performance was. The fact is that Powell and Gay and Bolt are churning out these uh, sub-10 seconds time in the 9.7s and 9.8s, and, of course, in Bolt's case, the 9.5s, with such regularity it's absolutely staggering, and it is uh, important you keep things in perspective. There's the confirmation of that result. It's Alpha Pal 9.82, world leading time, of course. Christophe Lemaitre, 10.09. Martial Banjok, 10.09. A 19 year old Frenchman takes second place. Well, yet another meeting record. They're falling one after another. And when you remember, this is the 30th anniversary of the Golden Gala meeting here in Rome, a stadium which has seen world records again and again. Then you'll realize just how special it was. Asafa's enjoying these moments, isn't he? And the crowd are enjoying him too. And uh, I think the wisest thing she's done was to take this uh, summer out, certainly the first half of the summer. That's interesting, isn't it? Looking at the technique of the 19-year-old Frenchman, Lemaitre on the left of your shot, and Asafa Powell. Look at the difference. They're both slow to come up. Then their eyes come forward. Their heads come up very, very slowly. But there's a young fellow who's really determined. And when a man like a Safa Powell leaves you by three or four meters, then you have to... A, a skill is not tying up, and he didn't tie up. He really didn't, and that was very impressive. And he'll be very pleased with the time, particularly against this fella. A Safa Powell. 